Hello. All right, new project. You'll have to forgive my scratchy voice and sniffly nose. <sighs> Weather changing. <laughs> anyway, today I am working on my 1840s project. Of course, starting with the undergarments. And I am going to be doing the quilted petticoat. This is black snail patterns. And I'm going to try a little experiment <laughs> with this petticoat. My plan is to use a quilt that I already have and just make a petticoat out of that and use the use the pieces for the top of the petticoat from the pattern and then just use this quilt and see how it goes. So off we go. I cut out the pieces for the yoke. I also added a couple of inches to the pieces since I didn't think they would fit. I used a heavy linen scrap that I had. I took the quilt and measured and marked the length I needed. It was easy to cut since I could follow the quilted pattern. Next, I pinned the quilted panels right sides together. Will I ever need a quilted petticoat in South Louisiana? Probably not, but since this project is inspired by the Muppet Christmas Carol, I wanted to try for historically adequate <laughs> under things. That's a big part of why I'm using an already made quilt. I didn't want to spend forever on something I will rarely, if ever, use. For the back opening, I cut a slit about 7 or 8 inches down and zigzagged the raw edges. Bead and Convenience To assemble the yoke, I pinned and sewed the fronts to the backs on both layers at the side seams. Lucius was helpful as always. What cares he for cameras when pets are required? Next step was to pin the yoke layers right sides together along the top and sides. Loki love time. The seam allowance is trimmed and corners are clipped before turning the yoke right side out and ironing. The instructions say to cut a slit about one and a half inches down on the center front. Then the top edge is trimmed from the bottom of the slit, angling up to the side seams. I pinned the yoke to the skirt, pleating the skirt to fit, and leaving about five inches unpleated at the center front. to the machine to sew the yoke to the skirt. It's pretty bulky. All 
okay it's going easily and well I have attached the the waistband the yoke to the skirt and now I just have to fold it under and whip stitch it down on the inside and attach some hooks or buttons and then it's done so we'll see although I don't think I have a skirt that I can put over it to kind of see how it see how it looks hmm do I have a skirt I could use maybe I'll have to look and see what I have but so whip stitching the yoke down on the inside is next and cheers to an easy project I folded the bottom edge of the yoke lining under and pinned it to the inside of the petticoat. I used a whip stitch to secure it. Hercules was ready for his close up. A quick try on and we were ready for hooks and bars. First, a little visit from Thor. I used two sets of hooks and bars. Then it was done. I'm very happy with how this little petticoat hack turned out. I think it will give a nice shape to my 1840s project. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you spending your time with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, you can hit that little bell icon. Also, comment down below. I love reading your comments so much. If you'd like to support the channel further, I have a coffee account and that is linked down below. I will be back in two weeks with the next part of my 1840s project and it is a new corset. So stay tuned for that and I will see you again on our next sewing adventure. Bye!